Hey everybody, welcome to another render demo how to draw video tutorial. Today I'll be taking you through how to draw a praying mantis. So let's get started. So I'm going to draw the main body and it's going to be kind of along this curve sideways. So for the main body, the, the lower uh, wing section, I'm going to start right about here and we're going to kind of come up in this, this kind of direction here. So the, the bottom's going to be pointy and it's going to come up like this and it's going to have a round shape up here and then it's going to get wider and then come back to almost like a point at the bottom here. Then for the central part of the body, it's going to have a small kind of an elliptical shape here, like this. And I think it's a little bit wider at the top and then quickly kind of ends like that. And then for the head, it's almost going to be like a triangle pointed in the pointed downward. So we're going to have a curve like this. The head's going to have almost like a little um, negative curve to it. Like that's not going to be straight. And then we'll come down kind of like this towards the left a little bit. So it's not going to be a perfect triangle. It's going to kind of be slanted a little bit more towards the right. So if this is the lower part of the, the head, all right, it'll come down like that. And then we'll come and join back over, up over here. So it's kind of like rounded like that. So it's kind of like a, almost like a tooth. Looks like a tooth. All right, so we got our main body. So the next step is we're gonna draw, uh, under this wing here, we're gonna draw the, the belly that kind of sticks out down here. So it's going to be kind of like a curve shape like this. All right, but it's gonna be bumpy. So we're gonna kind of do this. We're gonna come up and this, this one's gonna be long and have these like little bumps like this. Okay, and this will end right about there. And then we're gonna have another bump that goes from here to there. And then for the arm, we'll start the arm up about, almost like halfway between where the head is and this point here, somewhere about here. And we'll almost do a similar kind of shape to the head, something like that. It's a little bit flatter up here. Okay, let's add in the eyes. So the eyes are gonna take up a good amount of space. It's gonna be one there and one there. And then we'll do the antennae. We'll do one to the left and one to the right. Awesome. So the next step, let's draw in the arm that comes off of this guy here. So I'm just gonna erase this just a little bit because I'm not liking the shape. So I'm gonna draw a round shape at the top here and a little bit flatter at the bottom instead. And then this is gonna come almost to kind of like down to the left a little bit. So we're gonna come down off of here and it's gonna be wider up here and narrower at the base. And right about here, we're gonna come like that. Okay, kind of like this tube shape. And if you want to round this a little bit more, we can do that. Yeah, make sure you have an eraser handy. You always make mistakes, even I do at times. Okay, now let's draw the other arm that's on the back side. So we'll draw this, this shape here is on the back. So we're not going to see all of it, just a little portion of it. And then this arm is going to be right about here. And it's going to be pointing kind of to the right a little bit. And then we'll connect like that. Awesome. Now let's go, we started those two arms, let's go start one of the legs here. So right about, if this is halfway from here to here, halfway, we'll go up just a little bit, all right? And we're gonna create a shape that kind of comes down, hooks over, Kind of points like this 
okay? Now, this leg here is gonna come down, up, and back down, okay? So follow me first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come off of this here. We're gonna go down just a little bit, all right? We're gonna come down like this. And then we're gonna have a little bit of a bend. And then we're gonna come up to right about here. So not past the, the top of this back piece here, okay? So we're gonna come right about here. And go like that. And then this is gonna be almost like, this is gonna be like a, it's kind of like a W or like an upside down V. And then this is gonna come right about to here. So we're gonna come down to right about there. All right, so it's gonna be a little bit wider at the bottom here. And then we're gonna come up, back up, and be a little bit narrow at the top here. And hook over. And then this part here gets a little bit wider and it's gonna join to this joint right here. Just like that. All right, cool. And then for the other leg, we're going to put, so that's the hind leg. There's gonna be two front legs and then two arms up here. So the other front leg is gonna come from right about here, okay? We're gonna draw a triangular, kind of like this shape here. We'll start right about here and we're going to come down okay so we're going to come down like this and then right around here you know we're gonna flatten that up and then meet back up and then for the other one we're going to start about here and we're going to go towards the right a little bit more okay and this will end a little bit higher up like this right about here and then we'll come and join together like that okay and then we can extend these down and what we're going to do is this is going to bend to the left and kind of hook over a bit this way so we're going to come this way like that and then hook over and just kind of follow that shape and this will be rounded at the bottom and we'll do the same over here but this one will stop but right about here, shorter like that and like this. Okay. Now let's finish off these arms up here. So these arms actually have an interesting shape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this one here. Okay. So we're going to come over now. These are the praying mantis, right? So it's gonna look like it's praying, like it has its hands together, kind of. So we're gonna come over towards the right, just like this, and we're gonna come down a bit. Now the length of this, of this portion here is gonna be roughly about the same length as that. So whatever this length is, we're gonna to try to be about the same length here. So there, we're gonna round this, and it's gonna be pretty wide over here, okay? And then we're gonna come off of this, we're gonna aggressively have like a curve like this, about halfway. Now up in here, it can be kind of like these sharp prickly shapes. So this is pointy, so I'm gonna kind of come up and point, and I'm gonna kind of like point again, point again like that. So it's kind of like these like little, almost like knife serrations there. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. So this one here is gonna be a little bit flatter. Like, so this, this one here is coming like at an angle like that. This one here is gonna be a little bit more flatter, like horizontal. So we're gonna kind of do this, and then we're gonna round that. And then this bottom part here is gonna kind of come down, and then we're gonna have those little sharpie shapes, those pointy shapes. And then from here, we're gonna have these really pointy shapes like this. So this one here is, you know, this arm's coming this way, and now this point's gonna come, come down a bit. Okay, and again, the length of this is gonna be roughly um, similar to the length of these shapes here, about the same. And then this one's gonna point kind of like that. Okay, um, let's go ahead finish off these antennae, just a thin line, kind of curves, 
And then the last thing we want to do is we want to finish off these back hind legs. So right over here, I forgot to add the little end. So see how these like little bumps here, the feet. So we're going to come kind of not in the same path as this curve here. It's going to come down a little bit. It's going to have a little bit of a kink to it. It's going to come down and over like this. Okay. And then we'll draw this other foot here. We'll draw it over here. All right. So this shape here will be right about here. That's the other one on the other side. And this little joint here, this bend, will show up up over here. So we're gonna kind of do this and like that. So it's kind of peekabooing on the other side. All right, now these little bends, remember we had these kind of like bumps in here? What we wanna do is we wanna kind of have these little round shapes like that in here. And we'll put one over there in the belly. So there is how to draw a praying mantis. Let's go ahead and use our marker to, or our ink pen to outline this. Okay, my inking is now done. I'm gonna go and use some greens. I'm gonna do the main body in a lighter color green and then the lower section in a darker green. So there you go, there's how to draw a praying mantis. Hope you liked it. Subscribe to our channel to check out some other cool videos. See you guys next time, bye.